I'm, I'm impressed that you got back in it after getting going through what you went through. I have a lot of people say, you didn't learn your lesson? Yeah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. All right, we're here with John Engler from Rainham. Yep. And he is going to show us his car and tell us a story about what happened to him when he was driving it a few <laughs> few years ago. Not 2018. 74 right. year old lady pulls out of a parking lot five feet in front of me, tried to go around her. She turned the car right into me, flipped the car over, almost killed me. <laughs> Crushed the car. The car was sitting upside down. They had to flip it over and tow it out. My dad and his friend got to the junkyard that night and got the car right out. Cool. So we rebuilt it. Here it is. 26 Ford. Alright, let's let's take a look at the car. What do you want to look at? <laughs> whatever whatever you the want to front, show. The front. <clears throat> How about the motor? Brand new. New Babbitts. New clutch. The Turbo 400's clutch disc. No magneto. It looks a lot like mine. Yeah, a lot like yours. <laughs> 1928 Chevrolet head. Bosch timing cover. Bosch distributor. 12 volt system. Yep. Chevy exhaust. This is the piece I don't have on mine. Right, the adapter. And I'm wondering if you just cut the flange, it would fit in the other, just the other end. I'm I put, not sure. I used flex pipe. Oh, did you? <laughs> and then I taped it up so yeah. it wouldn't leak. So I run this just <clears throat> like a regular car. Get a Stromberg 97. It should be on a V8. It's on a freaking four cylinder. Runs too rich, but it goes like hell. And you haven't got your gas rod hooked up either? No. I had a, I had a pulley on mine. I know screwing around with it does nothing but shut the car off. Everybody drags brakes in front of my house. They're probably lost. Me? Yeah. Drag the brakes. They're lost. They're looking for 105? I, I don't know. They can turn around at yeah. <clears throat> the next street there. No, this is um I had mine hooked up to the to the gas lever. Really? And it only moved it a little bit. Really? But what it, does it do? It gave you idle. You could raise your idle up a little bit and, and lower it down. Oh really? Yeah. It just how do you have your I made my linkage. Both to the bottom of the head. It's just a U that holds <clears throat> the uh, pivot. And the pivot You gotta have a gas pedal in here somewhere. No. No? My throttle. Oh wow. Oh. Well yeah. you do have it hooked yeah. up. Yeah. I have, I use that side as a foot throttle on mine. Not me. And then I, I use used, my hand thing. <laughs> I used this one. I went back to the rod. Really? Yeah. Oh, I know. With no, a, with a I belt use it right on the freaking thing, and it's like I, I, I run when I drive. I, I'm holding that freaking lever yeah, on, no, on the very end of it. No wonder you're confused by my statement. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like you know, I, I can control how fast, and sometimes I can keep it down like a quarter of a throttle. I'm doing 35 miles an hour. I can start advancing the spark and the car just picks up speed. Yeah. It's just an amazing thing. And you're coming to a slow, you shut the spark down and, and let the throttle off. It just mm, comes to a nice slow per idle. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they do good. Go yeah. good. Yeah. <clears throat> now, did you add this piece? or is no, that that's something? how it came. Do you, do you know why that's there? It, to heat the manifold up. Because of me. See, the problem <laughs> I have with that, when you go drag racing, yeah. They take an ice bucket and run the fuel through the ice right. to make it cold. Yep. Why would you heat up gas? Because you want it to uh, <clears throat> evaporate quicker. Right. But it's going to evaporate when it gets up that far anyway because right. of the heat. Well, mine was freezing up. Yeah, I and don't I, understand that. And I put one of these on mine and I wrote, I, I yeah. sent it to, to uh, Neil and I said, Neil, this is what I had to do. And he said, yeah. there I it is. I could buy either one and I said, well, I'm going to buy this one <clears throat> anyway. Yep. And, I've, and the more I thought about it, it's like, uh, I, I'm going to try it without it. Yep. I didn't want to start running freaking holes. Yeah, you know, I just don't uh, want to do that. I, I tap my water pump. You don't have a water pump. No, no. I got one at home. I, I won't put it on there. Came so, on a custom car. So you got... Yeah, first thing I did is take the water pump off. New seats. Uh, new, yeah. new, um, new metal to the, the seats. The cowl. New cowl. <clears throat> what we did was took the old cowl off, pulled the freaking metal rod out which was a quarter inch metal rod that yep. we folded everything over. Yep. Uh, took that out, laid it out, and traced it. 
and made another body except this time I made it a little bit wider I made it come all the way to the seats and I put a, a quarter inch I mean a, a bigger I like it. <clears throat> I like your little box there too yeah that was on the other car my dad worked at the Foxville company made a lot of parts yeah made this hmm. made that made these made the headlight brackets you know stuff like that like, it is different I didn't I yeah. hadn't noticed that yeah that's cool yeah and you got the same gas tank with the yep, road 1911 torpedo gas tank with a little bit of road rash on it. Not bad though. Yeah, from the accident, <clears throat> car landed upside down. Five hundred dollar tank. I'm not replacing it. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless I had to. You get your little stoplight. I was thinking yeah. about making these. I'd like to have another one. I keep looking for another one. I want one on both sides. I got one stoplight. That's it. Yeah. Well, you could have. You could put a second bulb in that. Oh no, I, if I was going to put a second bolt, I would put them in both, the one for brake lights, the one for directionals. Right. That's what I would do. Yeah. Or tail lights, brake, brake lights. The only brake light is this one here. These aren't. These are right. the freaking tail lights. So I'd probably make them a brake light and tail light. Yep. I just haven't got, I got the pieces to do it. I just haven't done it. Yeah. Now which one's the new wheel? That um, I think <clears> this <throat> rim is the rim that's never been on. It's not all scratched up. It was welded inside here at one time. This was a spare tire. It's never been on the car. I mean, the tire is. I took the brand new tire off and put the right because they're wearing the same. They got right. a brand new tire from 1980. Wow. <laughs> These tires are from 1980. I got your beat. 1976. Oh well, there you go. A couple <laughs> years, yeah. Too funny. But look at the tread on. <clears throat> There's no dry rod at all. Yeah. There's new tubes. You know, I, I change the tubes every now and then. They go flat. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this thing runs pretty good. I run out of gear. I was clocked at 65 miles an hour. I had no more gear. I was winding. Ooh. Yep. So Kurt Jensen has a two-speed rear end for me. Okay. That was just three to one? Or is that a stock, a stock? 26 rear end, yeah. <clears throat> so 65, you were pulling probably 26, 2700 RPM? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little. 55 is 2000. Yeah. yeah. Really? The things you remember. <laughs> I don't. I mean, yeah. I know I was, this, 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 this thing's flying. Of course, I get the throttle down. I don't have to go all the way down. It's wide open when it do that quarter or right. quarter way halfway down. It's wide open. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of, a gear. but you well, can hear the gears. Well, right? that's through your gearing and your bell crank. Yeah. That is, uh, that is different. Now, is this, is this welded to the manifold? No. What's holding on? I don't see. I don't see what's holding this the, the bracket onto the engine. This bolt. Oh, oh, there it it's is. It's a round thing, okay. so it can't move. All right. So I you, cut it for the pipe. All right. So you're using yeah. the, the, the I use a piece bolt. of aluminum. Made a little round thing so it goes underneath it. Put the hole underneath it. I can't move it either way once it's on. And then you mount the bracket on. And it's a uh, uh, what do you have, sleeve bolt, uh, shoulder bolt. Yep. Shoulder bolt. So you can only tighten it so far, so it it's always going to pivot. Yeah. Now, and, did uh, you did you get these from Jern too, the... The bolts is exactly the same bolts that came with my kit. Yes, yes, they yeah. came with the kit. Yeah. The same with the head bolts. I the told them, I said, send me a box with absolutely everything I need so I can just bolt it on. I, he did. Yeah, I basically, oh, he said <clears throat> push rods and all that? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, the whole thing. I just opened the box and put it on the... So you just pulled the valves out of the block and stuck the push rods in? He, he did. Or do you have to open up the holes? Well, I built the whole engine. I, don't, I know. Um, Did you hone out for uh, new uh, valve guides? No. That's why I, I had uh, Wareham Machine, Hans. Yeah. He uh, cut out all the Babbitts, line board, everything. He says, this freaking motor is right on the freaking money. And when Mike Worcester put it together, he I'm said, gonna have who to did bleep. the freaking machine work? I'm oh. going to have to bleep that one. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. No, I'm uh, <laughs> but I had him. Family, uh, family friendly show here. <laughs> I had him draw out the valve guides yeah. so I could replace them with modern valve guides. Yeah. Because they were gone anyway. I don't and think they didn't put the didn't put no valve guys in. Yeah, I don't get so the 265 Chevy uh, push rods in it. Yeah, I don't know I what my push lifters. rods came. Up. I don't think I did anything to the block on really? mine. I took the lifters out and had them put a bowl on the top of it. Yeah. So when the push rods laid, they laid right on that bowl. Right. They're not going to slide off or whatever. You know, no, I don't care how fast I'm going. Right. Uh, and they work great. Wow. Well. It's got all new modern valves. I put the stock uh, 28 valve, uh, valve springs in it because I didn't want to wear the cam out, right? Martin sees it, soft cam lobes, whatever. Right, 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 right. right. And if I put the high performance valve uh, springs in it, I would have eaten the valve. Uh, the, and the funny thing is that the camshaft. He did the head for me too. Who? 
Neil. I didn't have to do it. Oh, really? I got the head from him in the box with all oh, the other really? stuff. Oh, really? I got yeah, all I of it. Hans put it together. Yeah, I, all of it. He milled the bottom <clears throat> of it. He milled everything. Is so, so perfect. Unreal. Yep. Anyway, that's that's how I stand in it. Yeah. I love this car. It's, it's got the stock camshaft in it. Twenty six camshaft. Wow. I never took it out. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't say I never took it out. I never changed it. I yeah. put it back in. And I was thinking, why can't I put a high performance cam in it? I got a 280 in mine. That's upgrade. Yeah. yeah. You 250 before you wore it out on okay. on yours. So yeah. you're probably 245. Yeah, around there. I should whatever. have a higher one. I got plenty of room, right? Oh, yeah. Because for, yeah. for some I've got reason, the information I was getting, <clears throat> oh, you can't put a cam in it because it's going to bend the valves. The more I think about it, wait a minute. The valves got an inch adapter to go through. The piston's never going to hit them. Yep. It's not going to open up an inch. Now, did you go with the six to one adapter plate? What, what ratio did you get? I have no idea. Huh. Yeah, I've got 420 valve lift at the valve. See, I have no idea what yeah. it is. All so you're, it's, well, it's got a one and a half to one rocker arm. Yeah. So whatever your camshaft is, times one and a half is what the, the valve actually moves. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is your stock uh, 28 Chevy. Yeah, I'd have to do. I'm not. I'm yeah, not doing the math no in my head. <laughs> All I do is put it on. It's like, hey, it's an overhead. It's gonna go better. <laughs> it, it freaking goes better. Oh, it goes. <laughs> yeah, they go. I know. I know they go. Yeah. I changed my gearing to four to one. I wish I hadn't now. Why? Because like on going slow. I, I could never use overdrive. Oh. Oh, you didn't have to. Didn't have to. Like, I needed to be doing sixty before I could put it in overdrive. Really. And. That's so I'm like, oh, it's just... Isn't that winding pretty good at 60? So... Uh, You're saying 2,700 RPM. Yeah, I don't like know. 22, 2,300 yeah, RPM, maybe. somewhere in there. It sounds like they're winding. Oh, no, it was. It did it fine. Oh. But I wanted to be able to use the overdrive in the Warford. Right. And then... I still don't use the overdrive in the Warford. I was going to put a Warford <clears> in it. <throat> Problem is, I have to push the seats back. Yeah. They don't fit. The shift would come right between the seats, and I'm not, I'm not moving. Uh, I don't know if I, I measured it, did the math. Oh yeah, yeah. The transmission a foot. You know, it's like, oh no, no, it just ain't gonna work. That's the same price as the Rockstar one if you get in the Rockstar for free. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Because they'll probably have to rebuild it. Though. That'd be the way to go. It came from uh, Pat Dyer. Because <clears throat> your Rockstar, the stock Rockstar, right. will come up here anyway. Right. Which, and this is not so bad, but you know. When, Something that's a little more closed in. Right. It's hard to get into. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. Because you get the the stick on one side. Now you got another stick on the other side. I climb over that one, but yeah. it's. I climb. I <clears throat> myself through. Yeah. <laughs> well, you fit with this wheel. You put the big wheel on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a story. Different. Yeah. Well, yeah. try it with doors. Oh. I'm right. like. Argh. My problem is when I turn, sometimes I hit the freaking gas. It goes like freaking hell. I have to. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's even funny if I hit a manhole on the way down here. Yeah. It goes fast. Hit the freaking throttle, just drop it. It's a fraction. And vroom, it's like, oh yeah, I get a freaking let. Oh yeah. Yep. So I, I drive with my hand like this. Yep. And I just freaking <laughs> around with it. The other one just moving. I'm I got a lot. I got lots of bleeps to put in this one. There you go. <laughs> oh, I, I, me and my <laughs> throwing language. That's all right. Yeah. Stock uh -oh. Model T windshield shortened. Yeah, windshield it sh cover. sure is. It's just yeah. the top half. Yeah. Did you shorten it on top, or is this just the top half? Up here. Oh, the width too. The width. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. Didn't shorten this. This is all. That's the yeah. Height and all that. So, oh yeah, it's just the width. Yeah. Had to make yeah. it fit. There's your split. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Yeah, right. There. I wasn't sure I was gonna find no, it. No, you're gonna find it because there's a little bit. I can never get it even. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's good enough. I was like, oh, that's a really good job. Oh nope, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Nobody notices. Yeah, I like it. It's a fun, fun car. I had this uh, rattle. It's like, what the hell is rattling? I'm so impressed. I took the whole front end off, put a whole nother front end on. I kept my lee springs, um, put spent. a whole nother axle and wishbone on it and everything. I'm driving around, it's still making the noise. So I thought it was this thing, rattling around. Yeah. It's not that. My damn steering column on the steering mount was loose. It was just, every time I hit it, so I took a piece of Model A tire to pulled it in half, stuck it between the top and everything, tightened it up, rattle's gone. Now it's nice. It's freaking nice. Quiet. Cool. I'm, I'm impressed that you got back in it after getting going through what you went through. I have a lot of people say, you didn't learn your lesson? Yeah. I said, what lesson? I live. I'm not giving up the car. You got I'm back the car. You got back on the yeah. horse. It was not my fault. 
Now we're all gonna die is something. The radiator safe? Is that yeah. the same one? Yeah. Oh yeah. It never hurt never hit anything on the top of that. Hmm. Windshield must have saved everything. Windshield of the cow must have saved everything from getting really yeah. wrecked. I know they said you were upside down in it. Oh yeah. Oh the cow yeah. flipped right inside. My head got a three inch gash across the top of my head where I hit the sidewalk. Wow. The cement thing on the sidewalk. Yeah. Broke my neck two places, my back two places. Wow. But yeah, wait for the cow back here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sickness. The Model T sickness. That's right. <laughs> Oh, car sickness, you know, I, I got three other cars. Only one Model T. <laughs> I'd like to have another Model T. I, I like to have a one ton. I got my dad's Martin Perry board, he's a seller. I, I'd yep. love to put that together. But maybe someday. Ain't got time now. I ain't got the room either. So this is my baby. And uh, my problem, this thing was uh, falling. Or, First it started with number one plug kept falling. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's an oil problem. It wasn't an oil problem, it was a carbon problem. We were carving it up. And after a while, one and three were doing the same thing. So that's why I took the whole thing apart to say, what's going on? Checked all my oil rings, everything was fine. Cylinders were beautiful, there's no oil anywhere. It was all carboned up, it was running too rich. Wow. So I take my air cleaner, look at my air cleaner, it's a bowl going over the filter. So you get like a quarter of an inch underneath it to suck air. Yep. Suck it enough air. Took that off, put a flat top on it. Night and day difference. <laughs> so I ran mine through three half inch plumbing pipes. Really? From 2008 until about a week ago. Really? <laughs> three carburetors. I think I got it running right now. Cool. What yeah. carburetor are you using? Uh, it's a Stromberg, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, of, I'm looking for a Chevy carburetor, 28, 29 Chevy. Six yeah. cylinder Chevy carburetor should keep up with this. Yep. And you gotta have a fuel pump on here somewhere. Oh yeah. It's underneath the frame where you can't see it, stuck yeah. in the freaking U pot, and uh, my toggle switch runs it. <clears throat> I strapped mine to the side of the block. Right. Cool. That works. You can hear it when you turn it on. I don't I don't want it to get hot anyway. Yeah. The colder the gas is, the faster she's gonna go. That's my theory. Yeah. <laughs> You go to the drags long enough, oh yeah, you know, they're putting that ice, it goes faster. It takes more oxygen, it holds more oxygen. Yep. So, of course, it's stronger explosion, faster cargoes. Freaking crazy. But yeah, this thing's neat. What I'd like to do now, after I, if I get the rear end, that's going to be a plus. Be a two-speed rear end. Uh, maybe Rocky Mountain brakes on top of that. My dad worried about the, the, this thing, the brakes are in the transmission, so you step on the thing, it stops the freaking car, slows everything down. I lock them up. I hit them. Of course, there's no weight. There's yeah. no weight at there's all. No I can weight. lock them up, stop on a freaking dime. It's, yeah. it's just amazing and how good this car goes. Until something breaks. Until something breaks. And then you got right. nothing. I think my next problem is going to be the universals. <clears throat> but if I get the rear end, it's all going to get changed anyway. And then the muffler. Get this 26. Is that where the 26, the metal thing, the hang, where the hanger part is? Yeah. It don't come out round. It comes out a slot. I want to put a tailpipe on it. Keep the soot from hitting my rear end. Yep. I need a round one. I'm thinking, I'm looking at it. Why can't I take two front pieces, put one in the back, and Tra just put a mount on it? Tractor supply. That's what's on mine, is tractor supply muffler. Off really? A, off a tractor, yeah. Oh, no just kidding. walk in, pick it off the shelf. Yeah. And I'm going to roll better. I'm going to redo mine. I don't like it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put model A exhaust in it. Oh, really? See if it, see if it changes the sound. Oh, guaranteed. <clears throat> guaranteed. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, that's a, it's a cool little car. It's a fun little car. It gets all the attention. Went to uh, Labor Day Layback, Monday. Yep. On the way out, three or four guys come walking over and says, this is the best freaking car here. Are you kidding me? There's $100,000 cars here. Yep. Well, they're looking at it. Oh, oh this thing's freaking cool. And they say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going? They say, hey, put a Chevrolet head on it. Really? Oh, then they light right up. Really? Oh, yeah. Yep. They go freaking nuts. Ever see one of these before? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get people say, what motor you got in there? It's a Model C. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. Wait a minute. And then car is this? And then you, car is this? Then you <laughs> tell them it's half half Chevy, half Ford, and they're like, I don't well, what's, it. well, what's the block? Yeah, yeah. I just told you like three times yeah. Ford. <laughs> oh, it's just too funny. People like looking at it and... Uh, yeah, I love going to all these shows and listening to people talking. They bring their friends over and they start telling them all about the car. They have no clue. I'm this must be this. I'm betting that's a six to one. 
based on the, the thickness. Oh, the thickness? Yeah, it's the same as it's mine. It's like an inch. Yeah, it's, it's about the same as mine. And this piece, the newer ones, that wasn't this piece attached to that part of it? It was... Like a one-piece thing? Yeah, yeah, it was a problem. Well, that was a problem with me yeah. because it bolts to the head. And as the, long as that's uh, flush with the head, yeah. I had to take seal. I took gasket seal and put it around the holes in the front, on the bottom of it and the top of it they, just to make sure it's sealed. Yeah, he, he changed that uh, after, after mine. Yeah. Uh, the holes in yours are bigger. My holes were like eighth inch holes. Oh, really? To let the water... Oh, mine are bigger. I had to put a water pump like on it. quarter inch. It, yeah, it wouldn't move. It yeah. wouldn't move any water at all. Yeah. I had to put a pump on it. Yeah, normally it doesn't bubble like that when it pulled over, but like I said, it was putting. I was putting oh, around the spot. It's also 90 degrees out, so... Yeah, right. And they know them to run hot. I have no problem with this thing running hot. Yep. It goes bloop, 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 and that's it. it. When, right when you shut it off and then yeah. it stops. She cools right down. Yeah. Yep. Mine was doing that before. People don't understand that. You know, they look at it. Why, my biggest thing is people say, hey, your tires are low. Yeah. Why? Why are they Why are they low? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, I look keep, at them. I can see the button. So, so I, why I would keep, they be low? I keep them on the ground. Yeah. This, they're not supposed to be that's too right. high. That's right. <laughs> I said, you know, if I put 35 fucking pounds in these tires, I'm going to hear every, feel every crack in every freaking road. Yep. You're going to bounce everywhere. That car has no weight. What are you, you running? go by the, uh, the tire pressure. You go by the weight of the car. Yeah. I run 19 pounds. That's it. I'd be, I'd be afraid they'd come off. No. The tubes. Yeah. No, I mean the, the bead. Yeah, but that's, they're, they're on there. Yeah. If I had to get them off, I'd have, probably take a clamp just to break. Once I break one part of the bead, I could pop them all the way off. I have a tool. Same with the Model A one. I have a tool for I that. I know, my dad did too, and he <laughs> sold it on me. But, I've done tires for years. It's, that's yeah. not an issue with me. Yeah. You know? It's just not a fucking thing. Too funny. All right, bro. Well. Yep, the beast. And she lives. So we've been driving this since 1982. Really? Driving it. Yeah. Yeah. Started putting together in 1980. Yeah, so you had this before, before mine. No. You had this before I built mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's what I started yeah. in 1982. Yeah. Remember coming back through Rainham in the rain with you and my speedster? Locked up the brakes oh, yeah. and went through that light? <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do? I, I did that with my Model A. Yeah. Coming back from Berkeley. Both wheels just dead stopped and it just didn't even slow down through yeah, that light. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. My Model A is like the Three Stooges. The road comes to a stop sign, and you there's a road across, but it's way over here, so you're gonna have to make like an S. So we're coming back from Berkeley, it's fucking pouring out. We're in Model A, windshield's all fogged up, stop sign comes up, I go to hit my brake, fucking front tires are bald, they lock up, the car just goes right out sideways in the middle of the fucking intersection. It's like, fuck this, took my foot off the brake, stepped on the gas, right around the freaking corner, and took off. Guy behind me is like, it was like the Three Stooges all over again. I don't know how the hell you made it through that intersection, <laughs> but you pulled it off. <laughs> it's like scared the shit out of them. Went out and bought new tires, put them on the front. They ain't never going to happen again. This video is going to be 90% bleep, yeah, bleep, 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 bleep. I can't help it. I talk like that. I just can't help it. I get carried away. It doesn't bother me at all, Good. but YouTube will... <laughs> oh, yeah. I get all excited. YouTube will cut me right off. Oh, big time. <laughs> apologies. Apologies. No, no. Don't worry yeah. about it. It's just more work. <laughs> we didn't want to do the work. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, too funny. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but this cool. I'm going to end it there. Cool. And we'll uh, see if we can come up with something more interesting. It's going to be hard to top this. It is ne never, ever, ever quiet here. No. It's going to be hard to top this. Find something more interesting, but uh, we'll try.